Here's our final example for the 2.1 review. We're again going to look at the angles marked and determine what their relationship is, and then we're going to write an equation and solve for x. These are also outside the parallel lines, but they're on opposite sides of the transversal, which makes them alternate exterior angles. We know that alternate exterior angles are congruent to each other, so they have the same measure. So the equation that we can write would be to just take those two expressions, x plus 24, and set that equal to 3x minus 8. So go ahead and type that equation in your interactive notebook. Now let's solve the equation. So I just rewrote my equation, and I'm going to start by moving all of my variables to one side of the equal sign. Let's subtract x on both sides. That keeps everything positive. Remember that an x is a 1x, so I'm subtracting 1x from both sides, and that gets us down to 24 equals 2x minus 8. Now let's get rid of that minus 8 so we can have the 2x by itself. We can add 8 to both sides, and that gets us down to uh, 32 equals 2x. Now we'll finish it up by dividing both sides by 2, and that gives us 16. So the final answer is x equals 16. Make sure you type that into your interactive notebook. Then we have one final example here, and notice how these two angles are both to the right of the transversal, and they're in the same position in relationship to the parallel lines. They're above the parallel lines, and they're in the same spot. That makes them corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are also congruent. So your equation, you're going to take the two expressions, 37x minus 1, and you're going to set it equal to 35x plus 5. Then we're ready to go ahead and solve our equation. Since we have a variable on both sides, let's start by moving all variables to one side. We can do that by subtracting 35x from both sides. And when we do that, we get down to 2x minus 1 equals 5. Now that we have all the variables on one side, let's move all the numbers to the other side. So we want to undo the minus 1, so I'm adding 1 on both sides. And that gets us down to 2x equals 6. Now we're one step away if we just go ahead and divide by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So x equals 3 is our final answer. Now you're ready to go to Schoology and complete your 2.1 exit ticket. Remember that when you're doing your exit ticket, you can always go back to your interactive notebook to review the notes and the examples. Just have two tabs open, have your Google Slides open in one tab, and then have your Schoology open in a different tab, and then you can flip back and forth between tabs to kind of look at your interactive notebook while you work. So good luck on your exit ticket. Bye.